Welcome back to Titi's Little Kitchen. It's been a while, hasn't it? Well, in the meantime, I've remodeled the kitchen a little. We've added some things in. This wraparound right here looks good, doesn't it? Painted it all white. But we're still cooking over here on the same amazing five burner stove. So here we go, we're gonna get started. You know what today we're gonna do? We're gonna make some enchilada sauce because you know what? Everyone loves enchiladas and they're easy. You don't know what to do with the sauce afterwards? Here, I'll tell you in advance. Get your tortilla, put some sauce on it, put some ground beef, put some cheese, put some more sauce on it, roll it up, put in a pan, put some cheese on the top of all of them, put some more sauce on it, and bake them for like half hour at 375. In the meantime, let's make the sauce, because that's the hard part, right? Nobody knows how to make the sauce. Okay. Everyone knows how to make the sauce? See, I wish I could edit these videos, but I don't know how, so. And this is dinner, so we're not making this twice. All right, you want to make this with me? Go ahead. Peek down right there and see if you've got these ingredients. I'll hold on a second. Good. You're back? Perfect. Let's do this together then. So, you're going to go ahead... You're gonna make sure you have your burners because you washed your stove before you made the video because that only makes sense. But you're gonna go ahead and turn your stove on medium. You're gonna pour in a quarter cup of vegetable oil. Once your vegetable oil gets hot, wish I could pause this now. Probably could have started this Friday. What are you guys doing? What have you been up to? What have you been doing without TT's Little Kitchen? I know you're still eating. Are you eating some of the recipes that are up there? So many questions. I had such a taste for enchiladas. I actually tried to trade my enchilada recipe, enchilada sauce recipe for um, a collage of some pictures for someone to put together for me. I don't know if it happened yet, but I don't think so. And I'm giving this recipe away, so here we are. All right, well, it looks like it's getting hot. You can see the shimmer across the top of the oil. After that, you're going to go ahead and you're going to put in first the flour. Then you're going to go ahead and you're going to put in the chili powder. And with that, you're going to make a roux. You know. Make it nice and hot and let it get thick. Let me see what it looks like in the pan. Can you see? Yeah, it's just starting to make it nice. There we go, it looks like this. So once it gets to be looking like that, Stirring it. See it getting thicker along the bottom. It's starting to stay up here. There you see that. I hope this goes quickly because I hate editing videos. I'm really bad at it. It's truly why I don't post any. And um, I want to get this done so that I can just upload it. So I mean, it's like kind of live thing that it's unedited. Yeah, see it's looking like that, nice and thick along the bottom. We're going to go ahead and after that, make a nice thick roux here. We're going to go ahead and add some. It's not thick. I, I, I wouldn't call it thick. It's thicker. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to add in the Chicken sauce. And you're going to add in the tomato sauce. What I mean by tomato sauce is just a plain old can of tomato sauce, but you only need a cup of it, so you'll have to open the cup, open the open the can, and take out only what you need. So that was pretty easy, right? Once you've got that taken care of, you got your seasonings. What did we put in here? A half a teaspoon of cumin, a half a teaspoon of um, garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt. Psh, easy peasy, right like that. Wait, now can you see now how thick it is? Look how nice and thick this is. It's like perfect. It just doesn't have any flavor. Let's add the flavor. All right, well done. 
that's it. You're done. Now, I have to turn this off because otherwise I won't be able to just upload it. I'll have to like cut off some and this gets confusing. Um, but you're just gonna let this go for about eight minutes, you know, stirring it occasionally. Yeah, eight minutes and you're good to go. If you have any questions, hit me up below. Aloha.